We all need motivation, but can we change intentionally what motivates us? For example, we see how scientists are extremely motivated to read a lot and work long hours to find the cure for cancer. Why can't we just choose what motivates us? And will we be able to do that in the future? Imagine that you decide to be a doctor. You take a pill and from now on everything about it excites you to the point that you can't stop reading medical books and you go to bed extremely satisfied that you have read so many important things. Well, unfortunately, we are not there yet. But I think that even now we can change our motivation and shape it the way we like and in the future this process will get faster and faster so that we will be able to customise our motivation and basically our character the way we want it to be. To find out how our motivation works, let's explore the following situation. We sit down and talk to a prison inmate who has dropped out of school, couldn't get a job and ended up robbing people. If we ask them the question of why they dropped out of school, chances are that they would say that school wasn't interesting. Of course, here I would argue that there are a lot of things that we can do to make school more interesting, but let's imagine that there was a pill that the prison inmate could have taken in order to find school interesting. Would they have done it? Of course. It would have spared them so much suffering and a risky, unpredictable future. Great examples are successful criminals or boxers or people with risky professions who always want their kids to go to college. Why? Because they know it would be easier. We often think that people want to be bad, but the reality is that very often that is the best they can do. Now, this isn't hard to figure out. What is a lot harder is that everyone could work on and change their motivation to an extent. The way I see it, we are like cars using different types of fuel. Some of us get up in the morning seeking approval and admiration, sometimes at any cost. Others seek novelty and exploration. Some of us like helping others, while others enjoy bringing people down. Some of us are motivated by fear and constantly run away from dangers, and others are motivated by ideals for a better future and are fearless and sometimes sacrifice themselves for the future of others. If, for some reason, we could find our motivation in hurting others, could we change? I think the best answer comes from a Cherokee legend about two wolves. An old Cherokee is teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside me, he said to the boy. It's a terrible fight and it is between two wolves. One is evil. He is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority and ego. He continued, the other is good. He is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion and faith. The same fight is going on inside you and inside every other person too. The grandson thought about it for a moment and then asked his grandfather, which wolf will win? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one you feed. This story, in my opinion, rings very true to our nature. We are adaptive, and yes, the external world can change us sometimes in a bad direction, but we also have a say in the process. Our brains are malleable, and the more we exercise a certain neurological pathway, the stronger it gets. If we kick a ball every day, we get better at kicking. If we watch scary news the whole time, we get better at being scared. 
This realization that our minds are not fixed is the most important step. Knowing that we can become better if we want is freedom. Knowing that the bad things we've done are behind us and we decide in which direction we want to go is crucial. This isn't easy, of course, if we want to become a cancer researcher and at the moment we are lying on the couch watching Netflix the whole day. We need to go a long way. But there is a recipe even now and we don't need to wait for science to solve the problem. If we learn how our brain works, we can teach ourselves to learn faster. We can teach ourselves how to be more disciplined. In my opinion, we can even teach ourselves how to be more generous, caring, and how to be motivated by greater things, like saving humankind. Reading a book about cancer therapy after watching Netflix for months is like eating broccoli after eating pizza and chocolate every day. But if we can change our diet, in my opinion, we can change our motivation and fuel in life. And the most exciting part about the future is that this will become easier. The more we know about our brains, the easier it will be to build habits, learn new things and probably someday be able to learn Kung Fu like Neo did. If self-improvement excites you, I would recommend that you check out the Huberman podcast. He is a neuroscience professor from Stanford and talks in detail about how our brain works, what the latest, most accurate studies say, and what practical tips and tricks you can use in order to take advantage of your anatomy and physiology. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want our message to reach others, Give us a like and perhaps share this video with your friends. Tell us what you think in the comments below. And if you are interested, subscribe for more Future Thoughts.